sentence you to life imprisonment for all of the reasons given above, the punishment part I would have imposed would have been 30 years. I shall reduce that by three years, thus the punishment part is 27 years. Your stated motive, as disclosed in the agreed narrative, was that you considered that Mr Shah had offended your religious beliefs and had thus hurt your feelings. Although you had never previously met the deceased, you decided that you had a duty to kill him. This was a barbaric, premeditated and wholly unjustified killing of a much-loved man who was a pillar of the local community. He is described as a peaceful and peace-loving man and a family man. This attack on your victim was an appalling display of merciless violence. You repeatedly stabbed Mr Shah and when his shop assistant bravely disarmed you, you did not desist, but determined to end his life, you continued the assault by repeatedly and forcefully punching, kicking and stamping on your victim's head and neck. <clears throat> You ignored the pleas of Mr. Shah's brother to stop the attack. And such was the force of your repeated blows that some of the head and neck injuries found at post-mortem were described as being more commonly seen in victims of road accidents. What is so chilling about this attack is that what you did was calculated and deliberate.